Hey everybody, Shannon here, realtor in Vancouver Island, BC, Canada. And no, I am not here to talk about real estate, sell you a product, sell you a service. I'm here to talk about realtor safety. Before getting into real estate over six years ago, I was a police officer and I was a police officer for um, over 18 years, a long time, I know. Once I got into real estate after my career as a police officer, I came to realize that I felt a little vulnerable um, in some instances, maybe at an open house or a showing or different things. And that was something that I hadn't really felt before in my life, especially because I always felt safe and confident in my role as a police officer. However, I also knew that there were times that I, you know, I would be at risk, but I felt like I was prepared or I had, you know, plans in place to help me get through whatever situation I was in. As a realtor, I had my nice shiny shoes, I had my clipboard and my phone or whatever, you know, papers or cookies I had at an open house. And when strange things started happening, I did not feel prepared um, or I did feel less prepared than I thought I would, but more prepared than most. I talked to a few ladies in my office and they too told me that they had been um, been stalked by this one fellow in a couple of their open houses. I mean... St- Opening a house for your client, uh, inviting people in to show this lovely home and you're being stalked in your role, it's just not okay. So these two gals, they both had um, long brown hair, bushy, they were a bit shorter, um, same body type, same type of um, just sort of physical look to them and this fellow was coming to their open houses. He would stand there, he would stare at them, they didn't know what to do, they felt uncomfortable, they didn't ask him to leave. And we sat down and had lunch one day and I said, hey, tell this guy to fuck off. Tell him to get out of your open house. Maybe do it in a nicer way than what I just said the first time. Clear, effective communication. But if he's not going to go, you need to go. You need to leave that place. You need to call the police. You need to ask him to go. There's lots of options of things that you could do. And for some reason, they just didn't think that they could address it like that because what if he was a client? Well, you know what? There'll be another client out there, let's be honest. So we had a good conversation about, how, you know, how to get this guy out of the house. But I also came to realize that this is actually an issue that realtors um, in some professions, you know, you're prepared for this. But as realtors, we will meet people that we have never met before in secluded places, in a, a, an empty house, in a house with a neighborhood that has, you know, acreage properties or in the evening, in the dark, in places that are unfamiliar to us and people that are unfamiliar to us. We don't know what's going on. And no, we don't want to be paranoid, but we do need to be safe. So I started talking about safety within my brokerage on Vancouver Island, within the community, now at the real estate board, trying to get it across the province. I'm hoping that I'm going to be doing a little bit of a talk in Las Vegas at the Leading RV conference later this month. I want to start sharing more information, more videos, more safety tips, more ways that we as real estate agents can keep each other safe. And if you're a client and not a real estate agent, maybe that there's things that you can do to help your agent uh, and those women and men in your community feel a little more safe. Stick around over the next while and we'll start talking about this more. I'm very passionate about this. Real estate is how I earn my living, but this is important to me. This will help protect the people in your community. And you know what, if you're not a realtor and you don't need this, um, you know, for your business, you know, just even in your own personal life, some of these tips may help keep you safe or your son or daughter that's going off to university or yourself after a night with uh, cocktails downtown at a, at a club or something. We all can use a little bit more um, information to help keep us safe. I hope to see you all soon and uh, be safe everyone.